Hey sleepyheads, this is Ash from Sleepy Circuits. Here's a quick guide about updating your hypno. Before proceeding, if you have some presets on your hypno you don't want to lose, back them up by inserting a USB and saving a new preset. See the preset and USB quick guides for more info on how to do this. To get started on updating, visit docs.sleepycircuits.com and click the firmware option on the left bar. Make sure you have at least 32 gigabytes free on your computer and then download the latest Hypno firmware image. You'll need to take extra care to choose the right firmware based on what kind of Pi you have. Most users are going to need to get the Pi 4 CM4 firmware. The CM4 Hypno has a full-size HDMI output on the rear side of the enclosure. DIY Hypnos, built with the Pi 4Bs, have two micro HDMI outputs on the right side of the enclosure. If your outputs look like this, you need to download the Pi 4 CM4 firmware. Hypnos built with the Pi 3 A+, B, or B+, have a full-size HDMI port on the right side of the enclosure. If your Hypno has an HDMI output on the left side of the enclosure, and a component output on the front, then you have the discontinued CM3 model of the Hypno. These units will require the Pi 3 CM3 firmware. Once you've downloaded the right firmware for your Hypno, decompress the .gz file and you'll see a .img file appear in the same folder. In order to flash the firmware onto your Hypno, you'll need to install the program Belena Etcher. The Belena site has freeware versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. Now, remove your Hypno from its case. You'll either need to update the Pi directly or with the memory card, depending on the model of Hypno that you're using. If you have a CM4 Hypno, flip the update switch into the on position and plug the Hypno into your computer via the USB-C port on the bottom of the Pi. It's recommended that you avoid the use of USB hubs and connect the cable directly if possible. If you have a Hypno based on any Raspberry Pi 3, 4, or CM4 Lite, remove the microSD card from the Pi and insert it into your computer either directly or through an SD card reader. Memory cards with a capacity of 32 gigabytes and up are recommended. Now it's time to open up Belena Etcher. In Etcher, open the downloaded .img and follow the instructions on screen. Your selected target should either be called Compute Module, the name of your micro SD card, or the name of your micro SD card reader. The target may take a moment to initialize, so be patient. Once you're all set, click Flash. Once flashing is complete, disconnect your Hypno or remove the micro SD card from the computer and put it back in your Hypno. Take note that sometimes you need to manually eject the Hypno from your computer before physically disconnecting. If you had to put your update switch into the on position earlier in the process, don't forget to switch it back off. Otherwise, your Hypno won't output video. Now that it's ready to go back in, we could reseed the Pi. Make sure it's in there firmly. Put it right back in the enclosure. Okay, so maybe things didn't go completely as planned. If you've run into a snag somewhere in the process, we've attached a link to the troubleshooting section of our FAQ. This section is especially helpful if Belena is not recognizing your Pi as a target destination, as it has a link to an executable called RPI Boot that can fix the problem. There are separate instructions for both Windows and Mac users that describe the process of getting the Pi recognized by your computer. Hopefully this has helped you along the way to keeping your Hypno up to date with the latest firmware. Stay sleepy.